Whether we know it or not, we interact with packaging every single day. But if you were asked, what is packaging? What would you say? The brown boxes that arrive at your doorstep every week? It's a little more nuanced than that. So let's take a look. By the end of this short lesson, you will be able to define packaging and packaging science, understand the functions of packaging, and identify the levels of packaging. Packaging can be described as a coordinated system of preparing goods for transport, distribution, storage, retailing, and use. Essentially, packaging encompasses every element necessary to ensure a product safely makes it from the manufacturer all the way to the moment you decide to use it. Clemson University defines packaging science as a field that involves the use of materials, methods, and machinery to develop and produce the packages that protect and preserve the product, help market the product, and instruct the consumer on its proper use. Packaging serves a multitude of purposes for every product. For this video, we will be focusing on four of these purposes. Containment, cell, practicality, and transport. Designing packaging for containment purposes is much more complicated than placing a product in a box. A number of factors must be taken into consideration, such as your product's physical form or nature. Factors like these and many others must be taken into account before suitable packaging can be chosen or designed to contain your product. When it comes to protection and preservation, food presents a complex challenge. Food must be protected from contamination and preserved from degradation. Different types of foods require different methods of preservation, which can impact the type of packaging being selected. To sell, a package must visually attract the consumer to the product amongst a sea of competitors. This can be achieved through a number of design-related factors. The package should also display information that is appealing to the consumer. Studies should be conducted to determine what information is most important to your target consumer base. Of course, this is all in addition to the information required by law to include, such as nutrition facts, weight, and ingredients. Your product may look amazing sitting on the shelf, but if the package is not practical and easy to use, it is unlikely that the consumer will make the purchase again. Your package should store well, be easy to open, and improve the customer's overall experience with the product. Designing packaging for transportation involves considering the mode of transportation, handling techniques, and storage conditions. Your packaging may need to be designed to hold up to a certain stress or to cushion the product from potential damage. Packaging can have different levels, and they all must work together. There are four levels of packaging commonly referenced that are important to understand. Primary refers to the packaging directly in contact with the product that functions as the main barrier, such as the bag that holds your favorite cereal. Secondary packaging, or consumer unit, contains one or more primary packages. This provides unitization, shelf impression, and structure. Think about the box that holds that bag of cereal. Tertiary is used for shipping and provides protection through distribution. An example of this is a corrugated container used to ship a number of those cereal boxes. And lastly is quaternary or transit packaging, which is often referred to as a unit load. An example of this would be a stretch-wrapped pallet filled with boxes that are filled with those cereal boxes. Many products do not require all four levels outlined here. And please note that while this terminology is common in the industry, your specific department may refer to these levels of packaging more generally or use different terms. To delve deeper into the world of packaging, visit us at packagingschool.com for certificate programs and specialized courses. And as always, be sure to subscribe to The Packaging School for more packaging education.